Hurry, we are nearly there. Peace, freak. It'll do us no good to arrive at our enemy's doorstep exhausted. Suter has our son, fair Balder, fallen to treachery. Does that mean anything to you? It does, and Sutra will pay a heavy price for it. But we do not serve our cause by reckless haste. The tyrant of Muspelheim acts with purpose. And I would know the web he weaves before I am caught in it. So speaks one who never nursed our babe at the breast, nor held him as he slept. You were warming your wife's bed while I nurtured your son. You were only too keen to send him to my care, and Freyas when the call of adventure became too great to resist. Now, dampen your heart fire. Captive he may be, but there is nothing in the Nine Realms that can harm Baldur. There is one thing. Pick up your heels. Mighty to be captured by force. I sense Loki's hand in this. As do I. Yet still the wretch refuses to confess. That is why he waits in fetters for our return. Chained by my own hand. As I chained his son. As he has chained ours in turn. If he is truly conspiring with Sutor, you'll know my everlasting wrath. Will he, Harvey? Or will you forgive him once again? So he may wreak more misery upon us. You love your dear blood brother too well, when he has brought you nothing but pain. We have brought each other pain. Harvey, look! Burned. Their corpses left as food for the crows. A dark omen indeed. Come. There is no time to waste on the dead. We should have done more. We should have rallied the whole of Asgard when the Muspels invaded Svartalfheim. And you should never have let our son come here. He sought to prevent this war. Was that not a worthy goal? As for Asgard, the Builder's treachery was still fresh. We needed to rebuild, honor our dead. There was little appetite for further conflict. I recall you said the same when Sutor invaded Alfheim. Now the Elves are no more. Now you dredge up ancient history. You should have intervened, Lord of Asgard, then and now. Instead, Suta has grown too bold, and our son may be the cost of it. Do not say so, Freyk. We will find him yet. What have they done? The city lies in ruins. This is worse than I thought. They have put this land to flame and sword. Baldur. He 
is nearby, Harpy. I feel it. You feel it? The bond of mother and child. Something you will never understand. Now follow. Where is he? That way. Maybe this? These buildings stand hollow. No one is here. Then we have nothing to fear. There! Inside that house! He has been here. It is so faint. Are you sure? Can't you tell? Come! He must have gone this way. That building! Hurry! <sighs> I see no sign of Balder. No, but the essence of him lingers. It is stronger here than before. Do not slow, Harvey! We are on his trail! If this instinct is true, let us follow it further! Where are you, my son? If they have harmed a hair on your head... Keep faith, Frick. We will find him safe. You'll see. This city broods beneath a cloak of uneasy silence. Where is the enemy? Concern yourself only with our son. He is close. I feel it now. Ah, he was here. The smell of his skin, his hair. It's as if he left but a moment ago. There may be other signs. Keep watch. I will look upstairs. What is this place? What happened here? My son, demon. He waits at my master's pleasure. There. But maybe not so fair as you remember. Bobby! More of them! Gorge your blade! <laughs> of suitors stand in our way.
as I knew you must. It's been too long since you and I crossed blades. Then let's make this the final. Dark ambitions end here, Sutor. Surrender my son to me! Nostrils. That was no mere dream. 
I must seek Valka's wisdom. Mistletoe. The air hangs heavy around you, Eivor. You are troubled. I had another dream. A vision like the last. This one full of fire. Tell me. I saw the god, Baldr. Broken and beaten. Held captive by Sutor. I, I, I tried to save him. But I was defeated and left to die in a pit of corpses. When I awoke, I found this and the fold of my clothing. Baldur also dreamt of his own death. This tale I know. Afterwards, his mother Freyk visited everything, living or dead, and had them swear not to harm him. But she overlooked the mistletoe bush. And so fate had its way. Not all visions are premonitions, Eivor, but all hide wisdom, if we have the wit to see it. Drink this, if you would know more. Then go to the sacred circle behind my hut. There is more mistletoe there. Lay the mistletoe around the circle. Light it, and stand within. We shall see what your dream has to teach you. What is the meaning of this? Is this some part of your ritual? The flames grow ever closer! Ah! Valka! Would you burn me alive? If you would reach your dreams, Eivor, you must not run from the fire. You must be coming. <sighs> Passing weakness. It is nothing. We should continue. Are you sure? We could rest a while. They kidnapped my son, murdered his mother. I will not rest till I repay these wrongs. <sighs> Forgive me. You lifted me from that fly blown hell, set me on my feet again. You do not deserve my rage. And you do not belong among the dead. Not yet. Now come on. Your gift awaits. You still have not told me the nature of this gift, nor why you offer it. Its nature you will know soon enough. As to why, well, you have seen the suffering the Moosebulls brought to Svartalfheim. Fire and ruin and slaughter. 
They made wasteland of our green meadows, and enslaved those they didn't kill. They keep your people as slaves. Aye. Sortor works them for some dark purpose of his own. What that is, we don't yet know. We can't fight them, Javi. Our people are broken, forced into hiding. But now the tides of fate have washed the Lord of Asgard to our shores. I am not your savior. I mean only to find my son and return him. Rid us of Sur and you might save us nonetheless. That is why we offer you our gift. Look upon the splendor of our halls, Harvey. A sight to stir a careworn heart. In all the Nine Worlds, the crafters of Svartalfheim have no equal. This doll dares to steal a gift intended for me! Javi, you have to stop them! With pleasure. Keep back. I will deal with this. Well done, Javi. We should search around here. Hopefully with better luck than that moose bell. What are we looking for? I see nothing but stone. There should be a hidden catch. It's somewhere right about... here! Take it, Lord of Asgard. Put it on. From the dwarves of Svartalfheim to you. This is a mighty gift indeed. Told you they'd like it. With this bracer, you can draw out the essence of fallen foes, steal their powers, and make them your own. Try it now on that moose spell you killed. Feel it. Fire charges my blood. Aye, but you'll need more of it before you can take on their powers. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. It's the Asir! Sound the alarm! Protectors, Javi! Spawn of Asgard! Flame and ash, take you! The fire is my strength! Yes, Javi! Absorb 
hold the essence of those you slay to charge the bracer. A powerful incentive to kill the enemies of the dwarves. Aye, it's almost as if we planned it or something. The door's blocked! Barred from the other side! Calm yourself, Sparrowheart. Harvey will find us a way around. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. Let them come. I have death enough for all. I drew upon the Muspel's power, and the lava did not harm me. What other gifts might this bracer grant me? Abby, your brace's magic will run dry if you do not replenish it. Look around. See if there's something here that will help you to do so. The bracer grows weak. I must find a way to revitalize it. How I can sense the bracer speaking to this shrine as if they were alive to one another. We must hurry. If the enemy found these hidden halls, they can find the shelter. Shelter? A sanctuary. A secret hideaway. Only the dwarves know. When the invasion began, our people took refuge in such places. But the threat of discovery means we're always on the move. Holstein and I left our own shelter in search of resources. And we returned. Everyone was gone. Leaving nothing but a secret sign to show us how to follow. That shelter is somewhere nearby. We'd better find our companions before the moose bells do. Another door! Oh, I bone. Must be blocked from the other side. Those flowers, like the shrine, they call out to the bracer, though their voices are but faint. Obstacle. It was just the door, secret. These flowers are useful when it comes to revitalizing my powers. Lock nearer so we can make it across. Thanks, Harvey. I knew you wouldn't let us down. And I never will. You saved my life not so long ago. I will forever be in your debt. Use this new trick to my advantage. I will walk among them, yet not be one of them. Do you see those guards ahead? Well, why don't you approach as if one of them, and then give them a big, nasty surprise?
Listen, Mara. I thought I heard the mewing of an Asir kitten. My husband should have stamped on you when he had the chance. But mercy is no flaw of mine. I will see red vengeance on all of you for what you have done. <laughs> and I will enjoy watching you fail. You're... You should have stayed in our sword. Fight well. Better than your woman, at least. Come at me then. Let's finish this. Oh, I'll be back. I will hunt you to the far corners of the Nine Worlds. Treasure every moment, Javi. For death is at your heels. And you know not the hour it will find you. Sinmada! Damn you to hell! Mara, I never dreamed I'd see it. Fate has truly sent us a hero. Fate bends to my will. Now show me to the shelter of yours. The sign they left us spoke of a hidden power. Look around in the woods. They will set us on our way. A dwarf mark. It points the way to the shelter. Let's examine the map for any clues. See here, Javi. This is a map of Spartalfheim. You can see the shelter should be nearby. There are other shelters too. We only have a rough idea of their locations. But when you get close, you'll see the signs. I can't wait to see their faces when we arrive. Fimbar, Ro. Old Garot and his dirty beard. Fimbar still owes me 20 <sighs> silver from losing at cards. Bet he thought he'd got away with it, too. Remind me never to play you at cards. Ha! The day you part with a coin is the day the sky falls down. Another! We must be getting close. It is a hard path we walk, and well hidden. Has to be. Or else the Moose Bulls would find it. But day by day, they're learning to read the signs. And once that happens, no dwarf will ever be safe again. Where is the next sign? It should be here! Hidden, perhaps? Let's look around. You found it, Happy! Good work! Let's be on our way, then. We are getting closer. Are you sure about that? Yes. We should go left after the next sign. No, no. I'm certain it's to the right. You are mistaken, as usual. Follow my lead.
might be I took a wrong turn. I told you, didn't I? Less haste, more care. Let's retrace our steps. Yes, yes. This is the right path. The sons of Ivaldi have steered us true. I see it now. Have a little faith, Halstain. I know what I'm doing, Halstain. Oh, shut your face. Who are these sons of Ivaldi you mentioned? Ivaldi is a name well known to me, but he never spoke of children. Yes, he was your slave once, wasn't he? Halstain. Oh, sorry. Perhaps slave wasn't the right word. Uh, your freedom deficient associate? The sons of Ivaldi are those who follow Ivaldi's teachings. We're not all male either, though you can be sure whoever came up with the name was. Ivaldi learned much from the Essia during his time in Asgard. Not least the value of being prepared for unexpected attack. After his return, we set up a network of shelters. Bolt holes in case of disaster. It's thanks to us there are any dwarves left free at all. If freedom's what you can call it. Speaking of which, First order of business is to find the chief and warn him about those moose bells. Else there'll be no one left for us to protect. Sigrun and Halstein! Well, slap my bollocks and call me an elf. You found us! And with all those moose spells on our doorstep. You know about the moose spells? Wouldn't be much of a chief if I didn't. Hope you didn't wear yourself out coming out to warn us. Actually, we kinda did. And who's this you've got with you? I am Harvey, called Wolfsbane, Raven God, the High One of Asgard. That right. They call me Brood, Arse-scratcher, Snot-snorter, he of the crusty toe. Havi is here because we have an enemy in common. Surtr has taken his son captive. He fought Sinmara to a standstill. I saw it! Surtr, eh? Any enemy of that oversized stack of hearth-sweepings is a friend of mine. Come inside. You two. Get some rest. Wait, Javi. Before you go, I have another gift. We would not have made it here without you. No, I, without you, my friends. I'd say we're even. Take this all the same. It's silica. Bring it to a blacksmith, and they will put it to good use on your behalf. Thank you, Sigrun. And you, Halstein. May our paths cross again soon. We must have done something right. That stuff's rarer than hen's teeth these days. The moose pulse. Aye. They seized the mines and now they guard them carefully. Bunch of overly flammable bastards. Still, if you ever need more, you're welcome to slaughter your way to one of their stockpiles. My son is in suturous clutches. I have no time for diversions. Might be you change your mind once you see it put to use. Let me show you our blacksmith. Did you follow? The toil never ends. Salutations, Chief. Who's your friend here? They've got too many names to remember. All you need to know is... They've got silica. And the bracer of such craftsmanship as makes my hammer arm weak with envy. That's a fine thing indeed. But maybe not so fine that it can't be enhanced somewhat. Any half-decent blacksmith should be able to help you improve it. Assuming you have the right materials, of course. Others here will be glad of a stranger's silver. Look around a while, if you like. 
You know my purpose. I have no time to tarry here. He asks for death who goes to battle unprepared. I'll see you at the entrance when you're ready. Be welcome, friend. I could do with a mug of ale right about now. You are always... You know, you ain't the first stranger to come around here. A while back, our scouts saw a Jotun creeping about. Name of Hurokin. Hurokin? No doubt she flees the wrath of Suttunger and Gunlother. Hers was not a name I expected to hear in this place. Her presence here may be an ill omen. Or it might mean nothing at all. You as guardians like to be vague, don't you? Walk with me now. Let's have some straight talk. One thing puzzles me. You cower in these holes like rabbits. Why not fight back? We fought at first. Fought hard. But they hid our leaders. Scattered us. Once they divided us, we were done. Then join together. Raise your axes and throw them off. That simple, eh? Look, we don't even know where the others are. The shelters were planned so that if one of us was caught, we couldn't give them all away. But you could find them, I'd wager. My business is with Sutur and rescuing my son. You might have noticed that Sutur can't be killed. Could be a problem. I will find a way. Or else I will seize what he values most and trade it for Baldur's freedom. Either way, you'll need our aid. You don't know an inch of this land. Listen, Harvey. I understand. This isn't your war. You just want your son back. But those moose sparrows on our doorstep, they ain't no joke. If they find us, we're dead meat. Thing about moose spells, though, is they love to fight amongst themselves. All that's stopping them is fear of Suter. Take out their leader. They'll tear themselves apart. Flee back to Muspelheim, most likely. And Svartalfheim will once again belong to the dwarves. Dwarves who will be very, very grateful to the one who delivered them. There's more gifts where that bracer came from. I make you no promise. But I will seek out your shelters. Perhaps there I'll find the means to save Balder. Good enough for now. Welcome to Svartalfheim, Harvey. From here, you're on your own. 